In this video, I will teach you a simple workflow for an animation project using Linearity Curve and Linearity Move. First, open the design you already created in Curve. We need to rename each of the layers with a unique name. We can do that one by one. Now, we need to plan the animation. In this case, text will appear one line at a time. The shape on the top left will swing from left to right with small movements. The illustration on the right will scroll up as elements at the center rotate like gear pieces. Duplicate the artboard as many times as the steps of your animation. For this project, we need four artboards, which will translate into four steps. Now, apply changes to each artboard based on the steps of the animation. Step 1. On artboard number 1, move down and hide all three text lines, turning the opacity to 0%. Also, add a small change to the mosaic styles on the right by rotating the centerpiece of each tiles of 90 degrees, one every other square. Step 2. On artboard number 2, reposition and turn down the opacity of the second and third line of text. Here, we can add the first change to the green shape on the top left by rotating it by 5 degrees. Remember to rotate the centerpiece of each tile of the mosaics of 90 degrees, but one every other square. And move the line up by one piece. Step 3. On artboard number 3, reposition and turn down the opacity only on the third line of text. Rotate the green shape on the top left corner to minus 5 degrees, which is the opposite direction from the rotation we added before. Don't forget to rotate the center piece of each mosaic tiles by 90 degrees every other square. And move the line up one piece. Step 4. On artboard number 4, all three lines of text are in their arrival position with 100% opacity, so no need to edit them on this step. Now it's time to bring the green shape on the top left to its original position, which is 0 degrees. You can check that on the style panel. Last part of the process is to rotate the centerpiece of the mosaic tiles by 90 degrees one last time. Remember to do it only every other square and to move the line up until you reach the second to last piece, so one piece is still out of the artboard. Finally, you can save your file and export as .curve. We can now move on to Linearity Move. Open Move and go to the Import panel to the left side of the welcome screen. Here, select the curve file we previously exported. In the dialog box, select all four artboards and drag them into the scene builder line. Set seconds to 5 seconds and click Import. Double click New Scene to enter the timeline. On the bottom left, all layers are visible and they are named according to the curve file. Play the animation to preview initial results right after importing. It's looking good, but can definitely be improved with a couple more steps. Let's make some changes to the timeline to make the animation more interesting.
Great! Our animation is now ready. Go to the File menu up here. and select export as .mp4. Our animated video file is now ready to be shared. So easy.